Hello and welcome to a series of short training videos for the creation of broker contracts. In our previous video, we have seen how to create contract A. In today's video, we will see how to create contract B. Let's log into the broker application. Contract B is required if you want to advertise the property requirements for a buyer. If you have a buyer fulfilling the requirements of contract A, you can directly create contract F by skipping the step of the creation of contract B. Let's assume we have a buyer looking for a property. Click on Create Contract B. Here you can see there are two options company and person similar to what you have seen in contract A. The first step is to fill in the buyer's information. Buyer information can be retrieved for an Emirates ID holder or a registered owner in DLD. Verification types for registered owners in DLD are a combination of the owner number that is printed in the title deed and by date of birth or Emirates ID or passport number. For all other scenarios, the buyer information has to be entered manually. Let's assume the new buyer does not have any records and we will enter the information manually. The buyer details form is comprehensive to capture various information as per the needs of the buyer. In this form, you can add one or more buyers. The buyer type can be a citizen, resident, or international, based on the buyer type the required fields will vary. The mandatory fields are marked with a red asterisk. Now, let's enter the mandatory information in documents. To move to the next step, select who will represent you at the time of registration. If the buyer is having a representative, you need to add the representative information. And business rules are the same as mentioned in contract A. To know more about this step, please refer to the contract A creation video. For this use case, we will assume the buyer will be present at the time of registration. To add additional buyer, click on Add Buyer. You can remove the buyer by Delete Buyer button. Click Save and continue to move to the next step. In this step, we will add the property requirement of the buyer such as the property type, land, building, unit or villa, rental status, number of bedrooms, in which community, etc. The next step is to enter the property's financial information as per the buyer's budget. This is not the final price as the final prices of the property are added in contract F. Let's move on, here on this screen you can mention the buyer's share. If there is more than one buyer, you will have to mention the share accordingly. For the single buyer, the total share must be 100%. The next step is the commission and duration. The contract start date could be a minimum of one day or a maximum of one year. The default value is set to two months that can be changed as per the agreement. The commission can be entered either in AED amount or a percentage value. The maximum allowed percentage is 20%. Followed by that, you need to mention whether the buyer is going to pay for any of the advertising fees of the property. Fill in if there are any notes and the final step is to review the entire application before submitting it to the buyer for approval.
Click on I accept the above terms and conditions and submit the contract for approval. The contract is now submitted and the buyer will receive the link for approval by SMS and email. If it is not received by the buyer you are required to check if the correct contact information of the buyer is entered, alternatively, you can copy or send the contract activation link from the contract B detail screen. The buyer should review contract B in detail, it can either be approved or rejected. If it's rejected then it goes back to the broker for any modification. Let's approve contract B. After approval of contract B, there are additional actions that can be taken such as extension, cancellation, download and edit. This marks the completion of contract B creation. Thank you for watching.